Lola Mobile with uh, Angry Birds other half. It's a little bit beaten up as you can see, but it was in a lot of hands and it's only a prototype, so it doesn't matter that much, does it? When you double tap, we have this Angry Birds ambiance. As usual, we have the notification area. But this one is running the Sailfish 1.0, so there are, there are polishes and differences to the device than before. For example, we have this a little bit bolder and thicker uh, uh, fully menu indicator. I'm actually trying to get my own phone for the comparison. So when you when you see them, they are a little bit different. I don't have the same ambience as this one, but but you can already see it, I guess. Uh, the others are on the lock screen are basically the same. When we go up, the differences start actually from the icons, but they are not they're not going to be visible on the on the ca in the camera. But the icons are actually polished out, so they won't overlap the pixels anymore like they did on the previous Sailfish uh, releases. So we take the, this device out, and we go to the settings application, as you can see. These, uh, these guys are actually a little bit bolder and the indicators are much more brighter so you can definitely see them in the system. Oh, this is new, I haven't seen this. Well, yeah, the, so the, the actual ambience settings is added when some, some uh, special other halves like these are uh, connected. So... What it has, uh, you can't. Okay, enable store emulation. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's probably some developer device. Well, sharing internet is actually now available officially from Yola, and you can you can have a have your personal hotspot on the device. Then you have the crash report, which is uh, not on this device, or is it? Nope. <laughs> It's actually different from the from the previous device I've tested, but anyhow. Uh, and this Bluetooth sync is new because previously it was only sync and it was unusable. It was actually just there for being there. But now you can add a new device and sync your stuff with, via Bluetooth. The new the other new settings are are in the apps. So if you go to the People app, you can actually fr uh, import contacts from device with Bluetooth. Uh, and well, that, that is a new feature, actually very good. You have the new settings for maps, but it's not that much, it's only about the units, metric and imperial. Um, yes, so, if you have noticed, these uh, indicators are actually bolder as well. Then uh, let, let me just check the, the camera settings. I don't think there's any difference over there. No. No, it's just it's just the same. Anyway, when we go to the camera, actually, if you notice, let me just close some of the apps so it gets uh, it gets bigger. The files get bigger. If you notice, the camera cover is different, so the, the more information are sh actually the same information are shown, but the the camera icon is just like very big over there so it, knows, it lets you know that it's the camera definitely there are uh, as you would, as you probably saw uh, in the photos on Twitter there are new uh, new settings in the camera you can choose grid like this or a portrait grid like this or you can change ISO which is a very good thing for, for photographers actually you s we still don't have any macro settings, but I don't know if it's in the auto mode or not, but I feel that it is. I mean, it's sort of when you are uh, five centimeters away, it can focus. And then you have the self timer added. And at the end, you have this exposure settings. So this is very good for, for taking long exposure photos. And uh, yeah, that was it for the camera. What else do we have? Oh, we have this new uh, tweaked UI, which actually, when you when you reach the bottom or when when you have nothing else to do, I mean, when you have nothing more to do, it just 
fades away and lets you know that uh, there is nothing more to show. So it, it, it shows that uh, it knows what you're doing, but there's nothing more to show. So don't stop trying. It, it happens in the settings as well. It happens in every application. So if, for example, go here and do this. See, it, it fades away. Uh, what more do we have here? We have this new locking. Uh, when you want to lock the device with a gesture, we have this new little lock image here. And instead of the the whole screen goes uh, the, the whole the whole screen going black, which is actually not black because there's an IPS panel, you can just simply see actually the background is there, everything is there. But this is showing, and you leave it, and it locks. Let me see if uh, we have anything more to show compared to the nope. People's app. Let's check it. It is the same. Everything is the same here. Yes. Um, Yolo store. Well, I'm not allowed to open that. This one is still the same. The player. Oh, actually. Actually, it is not. So the album art is now shown like this. It, it wasn't like this before, was it? No. So the ringtones are here. Uh, there's no other song, apparently. No. But the, the album art is now <coughs> being shown like that. Very cool. Um, yep. Then we will go to the documents. Oh, actually, this one was fixed in the last update. That the, the free menu, like it would say that you, you have to pull down. Anything more? Oh, we have this in the settings. In the display, we have orientation settings. So dynamic, portrait, landscape, whatever. If you put on dynamic, there are a lot more applications. Including, uh, including the messaging app. That okay, it doesn't work that way. That can be, can be landscape for, uh, to, to be, in order to be used for uh, I don't know easier typing or maybe later on QWERTY the other half. But that's not only it. Yeah, it works in many applications right now. What else do we have? Mm. I think that is all. Oh, and about this special other half that they have been talking about, we actually have this. Instead of the ambiances going there, going to this screen, we have this Angry Birds Facebook feed that actually they say it might change. I mean, it, it might be some other thing than, than the Facebook uh, feed of the Angry Birds. But you can easily check it. You can like, comment, do. Show likes or whatever. There are actually more to it. Load more comments. Yeah. But yeah, as as I said, this is only a prototype. The idea is still a prototype, so this might change. I don't know to what, but yeah, or might might stay. You know. It's very common. Oh, and as you can see, the device is running on 4G. I wasn't aware of that. So it's actually recorded on video and they, they are not noticing it. Nice, nice. <laughs> you see the version of the device. 1.0.4.1. But it, it's not confirmed that the 4G will be officially supported when uh, when this, this update releases. So uh, I cannot comment on that, I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.